Hi guys, my name is Ferdy Korpshoek and in this video I will show you how you can create a variable product in WordPress using WooCommerce. If I want to add a variable product, I add a product over here, I click over here and this one is a t-shirt. And again here you can have a long description and here you can have a short description. I will leave it empty for now and I select a variable product over here. The SKU. I leave it as this because we will add variations in this product. So I don't want to manage the stock. I leave this as it is. I go to attributes and here we can add an attribute. What is an attribute? For instance, the size or the color or the version. So I click on add to add an attribute and the name is size. And here I can enter more values and I can separate them by the vertical bar. So I can say small, vertical bar, medium, large, and extra large. Or if you prefer S, M, L, XL. I want it to be visible on the product page and I want to use this for variations. And you need to check this, it's important. Because if you check this, we can add some different variation and I will explain you later why. Save attributes. And I want to add another one. So I click on add. I scroll down and here I say color. And I have two colors. The first one is white and the second one is black. And this one I want to use for variations. And what will we do in variations? If you have four sizes and two colors, let's do the math. How many variations do you have? Small white, medium white, large white, extra large white, and the same for black. So eight different variations. So I save this again and I go to variations. And I click over here and I say create variations from all attributes. So we just created two attributes with four options and two options. And this will create variations from those attributes. That will be two times four equals eight. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I am sure. You can do maximum of 50 per run. Okay. And there are eight variations added. Okay. XL black, XL white, etc. I expand them all by clicking this over here. Now I can add different information on all those products. So for instance, this is a black t-shirt. So I click over here to upload an image. I upload files, select files, and here they are. Black t-shirt back, black t-shirt front, and from the white also. So I select them all four, optimize them. And I start with the black t-shirt, the front. Set variation image. And here I want to select the white t-shirt, the front t-shirt. And here again, the black. And the white. The black one. The white one. The black one. And the latest one, a white one again. Meanwhile, I want to save it. Or I want to publish it. The category is t-shirts, which is also a child of merchandise. So I add a new category and I select merchandise and I publish it. Then I scroll down again and I continue. I go to variations, expand them all. And what I need to do I need to fill in the SKU number, so 0002 version 1. So I copy this one and the second one 2, the third one 3, the fourth one 4. So every single variation has a different SKU number. 5, 6, 7, Eight. That's it. 
Now I want to create a price for all the different variations and it is the same. So I do a bulk action. I click over here. I go to pricing and I say set regular prices. Go. And this one will be $20. I say, okay. I want to save everything. Expand it. And here you see regular price 20, 20, 20. So I did it everywhere. Let's take a look. Publish it again. Go to products. Refresh the page. And however, if you select the S size and the white color, you will see this t-shirt over here. But if you don't choose an option, there's nothing. So we go to the back end and we still need to create a product image. Set product image. You can choose to have a white one or a black one. I will do a white one. Set product image. And I want to have a hover effect. And that will be the back of the t-shirt. Now I go to the variations over here. Let's add a variation about manage stock. So we need to toggle it. So we click on go. And then one more thing. We have toggled manage stock. And now we need to fill in the stock. Go. And that will be 10 t-shirts per color and per size. So I have a total of 80 t-shirts in my stock. I click on OK. Update. Refresh. And it is originally white, but if I choose the size M for instance and the color black, you see it's changing. There are 10 in stock. So if you buy five, it will be five left in stock. Here's the SKU number. The categories are merchandise and below that t-shirts. People can leave review over here. And here's the second image of the back. What we can do, we can change the price for every size or color. So I go to the back end, scroll down, the variations. And let's say I want the XL versions to be more expensive. So they go to $30. Also the white one, $30. I update it and I refresh the page. What will happen? You see the prices between 20 and $30. Why is that? If you go for the size M and the color white, it will be $20. But if you go for the black or the white t-shirt of XL, it will be $30. And in that way you can bring variations to one single product. I want to thank you for watching this video. If this was valuable to you in any way, please like this video and subscribe if you want to see more upcoming videos about internet marketing, making websites, using WordPress, using MailChimp or other stuff. My name is Freddy Korpsuk and I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.